Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. We only want to take a look at the shorter time frame count and chart in this video. The idea is that we could be in an, um, in an extension to the upside, right? That the larger third wave here is still unfolding, circle three. The idea was yesterday that we could break out of this triangle to the upside. There was a mini triangle here. Important to understand about these triangles is that they are typically only followed by one more move into the trend direction. So had a triangle, internal triangle, one more move up in the trend direction, then corrective pullback. So that's what we've seen now. And the price has dipped into Fibonacci support. I would call that, or I would, I would interpret this as weak support because these extensions are not necessary, okay? you know, they, they are not, we don't need any more upside extensions. Circle three is, has extended enough. However, we are still printing higher highs and higher lows. Pullbacks have remained corrective. And I can interpret this as a so-called one, two, one, two setup. Now, of course, this interpretation is, it's not the most reliable one, especially on this wave degree time frame. But we have very, very clear levels to watch. Very clear levels to watch. So if this uptrend is still unfolding in a direct fashion, then the price should really not break and sustain below 11. No, not $11. Well, that'd be great. $1.11, right? The price should not break below this level. Well, if it does, there's one more level which needs to be tested before this structure this direct upside extension is invalidated and that's the 1.055 level. So $1 and five and a half cents essentially. That's where the red line is located. That means we have a one, two setup here, but it will be invalidated below $1.05 and uh, below $1.11, it will already become less likely. Now we have a three wave move down into support and ideally the bulls would turn up here. I mean, the bulls already bought it up here around the golden ratio level, around the 61.8 retracement at $1.15. But the reaction to the upside is only corrective. So I cannot rule out lower prices in the short term. What I can tell you is that certainly at the moment, there is absolutely no evidence that this yellow wave two is finished. And that for example, a larger third wave to the upside has started. No evidence at all, right? So therefore, we have to be a little bit, uh, well, flexible or rather there is no confirmation that low is in place, so I cannot rule out lower. What do I need to see to get really an indication that we've bottomed? I think a break above that last swing high at $1.29 would help. Better, obviously, a break above the wave one high at one thirty three. It would then unlock prices towards the next upside Fibonacci levels. There's a larger degree one at $1.42, so one, 142, 143. And then the smaller degree structure should send us higher in this internal third wave to $1.55 next. So 142, 155, but we need to hold 111. It's actually quite simple. We don't need to make this analysis complex or difficult or in any way, yeah, overcomplicated. It's very simple. As long as we're holding above 111, I'm looking for higher. Below 111, it opens the door to a wider wave four correction that we are pretty much dealing with this A, B, C correction that we are already in circle for with support at 64 and a half cents. Again, doesn't mean it has to be tested, but this is the key risk level for, for the uh, larger wave four. We could already be in the larger wave four um, because circle wave three, I mean, it's done what it needs to do. It would just be ideal um, to reach the next FIB level before really a top forms, um, at least I'd say. But overall, you know, we've had a substantial rally already and it depends to a degree on Bitcoin, as you know, on the micro level, um, especially in situations where the price has already reached minimum expectations. But Circle Wave 3 has already reached what it needs to reach. You know, it's um, it's a pretty extended move. As you know, if we take a look at the larger time frame, which we've done earlier today, then you'll see that the third wave is very extended. So we don't need any higher. but in this uptrend, you know, at some point it will break, but as long as it's, you know, as long as pullbacks remain corrective and we're printing higher highs and higher lows, it typically makes sense to, to follow the trend, um, which can typically extend more than you would think it can, right? So not much more to update now. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. 
Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.